Hi guys, this is Jack of iHeart Planner and today I want to fill my current setup for my personal planner which is the Filofax Walden and Ochre. This is so far my favorite personal planner as I love the leather. It is battery and soft and I will be changing my binder soon for spring as I have accumulated a lot of spring theme materials for my planner but I will surely come back to this. So this is how it looks on the side. Get inside and see how I am using my Malden. On the side pocket, I'm using this, this charm. It says, live your dream. What I put on the pocket is some, some stamps. It has a six side pocket and what I put are handmade page plugs from my pen pal. These came from my planner attic box in February from my paper love. Another page plugs that came from my pen pal. My Planner Addict Society Kit Page Vlogs February Kit Paper Clip, a Mason Paper Clip that I made and a typewriter printable that I laminated and cut down to size mainly for decoration and I just stuck in this journaling card to protect the binder from the rings. I have this cute panda paper clip that I made. This one is a clip from Planner Addict Box March Kit. This current calendar is a free printable from Happy Scrappy. I just stuck in it on my fly leaf and this is my dashboard that I made from a scrapbook paper, paper I believe this is a simple stories collection and a paper market um, card so together I just put them here like this and this is a top loading envelope from Filofax this one came from planner Society kit February that, that I just laminated and put here mainly for decoration as well this one is a free printable from Rebecca that I cut down to size and laminated I just put this coffee mug or coffee cup because um, I like coffee on the top loading envelope I just had this Starbucks coupon the Filofax card came with this Malden my 2016 free printable gold tracker from Miss Alexis of strangeandcharm.com Filofax year at a glance I like this year at a glance because it has until 2017 and my 2016 year at a glance from when the full blog where I laminated it and I just stuck in some cute um, monkey sticker since 2016 is the year of the monkey so behind it I just stuck in some sticky notes from Kiki K this one came from Miss Wenda's blog as well where if found please return to my details my personal details are behind it so I just covered it with this cute journaling card and behind it I just stuck in some paper that came from my pen pal and I found this at Pinterest and I thought it'd be great to print it since I really love coffee and I, la I just got it down to size, laminated it, then I just put um, my key for my year at a glance that I got from filofoxy.com where I track um, my monthly period, my bills, my work related event, holiday from work, birthday, payday, monthly Oh, monthly and anniversary travel and 52 week money challenge so this is how it looks 
so I'll just put back my paper clip. I just put this um Webster's pages um page marker and this is the start of my five dividers that I made by myself by using scrapbook paper that I have. I still don't label my dividers as um, I'm not used to it and I just like it to be plain. So on my first tab, I have my monthly. On my second tab, I have my weeklies. My third tab is my daily journal and Fourth tab is my list. Fifth tab are my finances. My first tab has my monthly and this monthly insert came from my Webster's pages. I'm still using it and here how it looks oh, on January. It's still not so decorated. February, I just put this keep calm and love on journaling cards since it's a love month and it's my anniversary month. And here how it looks like. This is March. April, I haven't really planned yet, but I will soon. So it has until December. And on my second top are my weeklies. It has two separate weeklies. One weekly for my personal and one weekly for my work. This key I will be using on, on April onwards. I have I got this inspiration from Rachel Danway of YouTube. This is my dashboard, clear dashboard that came from my Webster's pages that I just stuck in some of my sticky notes from Happy Planner, Erin Condren, and some different size sticky notes. At the beginning of the year, I was using a printable from Etsy, one week on one pages with a top tree and notes on the side. It, it was pretty working well but then by the start of March I decided to purchase DIY Fish printable which has a monthly and weekly insert without the dailies. I originally bought a trial for my E5 with dailies but then I got overwhelmed with using the daily since I don't have that much appointment on a daily basis. Here's my monthly using my DIY fish. Uh, I just used these to track um, some things like, war like my work schedule, my IG planner challenge, my journal, my no spam, my no, no fast food, and so on and so forth. Behind it, I just used the monthly for my bills to pay and some important dates to remember. I just use a color coding system. Blue means work, pink means personal, red means uh, bills, and green means pay date. Here's how it looks on my... Still, I'm using one week per page. And on the side has the to-dos and some weekly monitoring. Here's my past week and this is this last week and this is my current week. This is for next week. I pre-plan a little bit. This is my work week on two pages. I'm using Filofax insert that came with this planner. This is how it looks like. It's not that um, decorated. I just mainly jot down all the things that I have to do at work. This is my current month. I just used this um, today page marker which says work which I made myself as well by just simply cutting it down to size using a scrapbook paper. This magnetic clip came from Simple Stories um, Carpe Diem Planner Series. This one I just mainly use for my journals. Uh, I wouldn't flip through with this since it has some personal information but I'm Using the Webster's pages, week on two pages. Again, I have this clip from my planner attic box March kit. On the fourth tab are my list. I I was using A to Z system on my yellow color crush, but then my planner gets too bulky. Decided to take it out for a while since um my Malden rings are not that big, unlike the Webster's color crush. I might use it on my spring um, planner because I'm planning to use my 
Kiki K Yellow for that. These are my Instagram planner challenge. I've finished and I've done with the planner addict POTD. Then I'm currently doing the plan with me challenge. This page marker is an ephemera that I just laminated so that when I want to, to check what challenge is for a specific day, it's easy to flip in and out. I just have this printing guide for my DIY fish and some inserts that I bought at Etsy. I just put this clear page marker. This one is my post crossing tracker as I recently joined in. These are my list of books read for 2016, YouTube ideas, films to see. I currently finished watching Deadpool and I'll be watching Batman vs Superman in a few days. Instagram hashtags, hashtags, favorite meals. This one is mainly dedicated for my daughter and my husband. I still have the 10 places I would like to visit. These are the list of pre-printable sites. My stationary wish list, I'm using Happy Scrappy February Kit insert. Pre-printable sticker sites, nighttime affirmation, my favorite codes that I just stuck in in a sticky notes and put it in a clear fly leaf. I just put this Kate Spade arrow clip. On the last tab is my finances. This, this is my... 52 week challenge, I have the online order and behind it I have the bills due and monthly expenses that I wouldn't show anymore as it has some personal information as well and on the last part I have this, it came from a folder so that insert would be protected and behind the pocket I don't keep anything, I just have this clear sticky notes. I think I forgot to mention I have this kit, sticky notes, more clear sticky notes. Clearly I have an addiction with sticky notes and I think that's about it. If you have any question with my current setup, just comment down below and hope you like it and enjoy watching this video and bye!